We've all heard the saying that a picture speaks a thousand words, but imagine how many words a series of photographs could tell if you tell a story with your images. And the best way to do that is to diversify your shots. Hello and welcome to this episode on PhotographyTV.com. We're here to educate, entertain, and inspire you around photography. And during today, we're gonna to talk about the importance of diversifying your shots to tell the best story. And so since we're talking about sharing stories, let's start with a story of what not to do. So if you have a big family vacation, one thing that you wanna to try to avoid is coming back with images that all look the same. Let me give you some examples of a trip that we had to Disney World about four or five years ago. And the trouble is I wasn't really into photography at the time, so I just did what probably a lot of people do on family vacation, and it's where you take the same looking shot over and over. And that shot where we're all standing as a group or as a family in front of a different character or a different monument there at Disney World and saying cheese in front of the camera. The problem with that is that it does work to kind of you know, capture the family dynamic at that time, but it doesn't really create any interest or it certainly doesn't tell a story. So in the end, we came back and we had images that pretty much all looked the same. We're all standing around looking at the camera, smiling, and the only variance between the shots is what we're standing in front of. There's really not a lot of interest and we're certainly not telling a story of what the full trip experience was. So that's what you don't wanna do. You don't wanna come back from an event that you photographed with images that all look the same. You wanna diversify the shots and come back with images that really tell a full story. So let's fast forward. A few years later, we went back to Disney World again, but this time I did diversify the shots. We were able to capture wide shots that gave a sense of location there at Disney World. We were able to capture the kids' expressions when they first saw Mickey. Uh, we were able to capture candid shots of them playing and standing around in line that really is, unfortunately, some of the essence of Disney World is standing in line, but capturing that to really document that part of the story. And so by diversifying our shots, we're capturing so many more memories from that trip compared to that first time where we just captured the same looking shot over and over. And so now that we've talked about the importance of diversifying your shots, and we've gave you that example of what not to do and what you should do, let's give you three tips to ensure you can diversify your shots to capture the best story. And so to give you these three tips, I'm now gonna use the example of taking pictures at a youth baseball game to walk you through these three tips. I think a lot of times people go to youth sporting events and they'll fail to diversify the shots. They simply focus on trying to capture the action uh, out on the field as an example, but they're not truly diversifying their shots to tell the best story. So we're gonna give you three tips on how to do that as an example of a youth baseball game. And so the first tip that you wanna do is change your perspective while you're taking different photographs. Changing perspective can be as simple as moving around, going to different locations. So again, if you're at a youth baseball game, don't just sit in the bleachers and take shots from where you're sitting for the entire game. Get up, move around. Stay on the third base side for a little bit. Go over to the first base side. Uh, you know, Go to different points of view throughout the field so that you can really change perspectives. And again, it tells a more dynamic story by doing so. Not only change your location, but also change uh, your angle, your perspective. So try to take some high angle shots from looking up and above and down if you're able to get higher up on the bleachers, something like that. Maybe low, close to the field, looking up. And so that's the first tip on change your perspective. It's really gonna help you diversify those shots. The second tip is capture candid shots. Candid shots are so great to really capture the personality of the people that you're photographing. And I think at sporting events, it's even more important to capture candid shots beyond just the candid shots of the action. Obviously at a sporting event, you wanna be able to capture the action shots that are out there. But think about capturing photographs before the game. Uh, when the kids are warming up, you can really get some great candid shots that really tell a good story of what's going on at the event. 
but also capturing candid shots in between the action, whether a coach is talking to a player or the players are just hanging out in the dugout, for example, uh, in a sporting event, taking candid shots between the action is really going to diversify your shots and tell a better story overall. Um, and obviously, you're going to want to take action shots to be able to capture that candid moment in the action, but don't only focus on the action. Focus on candid shots either before the game, in between the action, really will give you even more uh, creativity and great shots overall. And so the third tip that we're gonna give you is change your focal lengths. Don't just put one lens on your camera and stick right around the same focal length the whole time. Take wide shots to establish uh, locations. So perhaps a wide shot of the field to really show what the field looks like, what the overall players look like, uh, take mid-range shots, perhaps full body shots of the kids out there uh, playing around or taking action shots. And then also zoom in tight for some shots. Use a telephoto lens and zoom in for head shots or really tighter shots of the action. And by changing those focal lengths, again, you're diversifying the shots. You've got the wide shots, mid shots, tight shots, and by doing those three things, changing your perspective and location throughout the field, candid shots in between the action before and after, and then third, changing the focal length so that you have different types of looks throughout the game, you're really gonna diversify your shots and come back with a great overall photographic story. And that's what it's all about. It's not just taking one shot, which obviously we all want that great shot, but if you can get a combination of images, you're gonna tell a complete photographic story and it's gonna really give you memories that you're able to cherish of the entire event that you're photographing. So now that we've given you those three tips on how to diversify your shots to tell the best story with your images, I'd love for you to leave a comment of what are other ways that you like to diversify your shots? Maybe something that we didn't talk about here. What are ways that you do it to tell a better story? So leave us a comment. Thanks for watching to really document that part of the story. And then lastly, what is lastly? So since we're talking about a story, what am I trying to say? Let's start over.